Good morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel, and I have a few things for you guys this morning. Number one, dude, this thing is flipping awesome. This is the magnifying um, glass scraper. Uh, it's really badass. You can see how I have all this algae over here. There you go, and it cleans it right up. So check it out. The detail is ridiculous. So you look at it, there it is without. There it is with. Um, yeah, it, it's just absolutely stunning. I could stare at that thing forever, and no matter where you move it, it gets even cooler. So I know I have the blues on right now, so it's hard to see, but the pop extension is absolutely stunning on that stylo. And if you need to get up close or anything, dude, this thing's awesome. So I'm, I'm gonna be giving this away. This is our next um, raffle item. And like I said, I haven't even really figured that all out yet, but Reef of Blues have just ended. Um, there's another one coming up, the New York show. A lot of you guys, um, uh, hopefully we'll go to that. So maybe I'll see you guys there. I'll be bringing a ton of frags. We're getting stuff ready right now. Cause it's always good to be prepared. You never know what's gonna happen. Um, I did break a tank at a show one time, so be prepared for that sometimes. Spilling water, not having enough water. I actually had to borrow salt water from um, Dave, the um, owner of Reef to Reef. He actually had to help me out. So, all right guys, you know me, I like to ramble. It's Monday, I got a lot on my mind. The weekends fill up with orders and then you gotta ship them out. So I just wanted to go over like a few things with you. One, since we all glue frags, anyone watching this channel, you should be fragging, that's awesome. Get to it. Um, but I'm gonna test this off. This is Goof Off Super Glue Remover Pro Strength. Um, I'm sure you've had glue on your fingers or spilled some super glue, so we're gonna test that out. Um, and everything that says stainless steel, it doesn't matter. Salt water corrodes it, it erupts. It just looks like crap after a while. So I did get these plasti color dips. So I am gonna dip those for you guys and show you how that works out. And of course, we're gonna make them orange. You know, my favorite color. So always handy to have a tape measure around. And I'm just gonna show you guys something I was working on to get some opinions. So the old frag tanks that we used to use for our shows were a two by two design and they had filtration in the back. And one of the reasons why you need the filtration when you're doing a show is because the carbon, the, moving the corals around, there's a lot of mucus coming off the corals. It's really nasty, so you need the carbon uh, and good water flow. Just keep your corals looking good and open and healthy because you want people to buy your corals at these shows. So I just wasn't happy with those tanks. Plus, they were super thick acrylic. They were super heavy, hard to move around. The frag racks were heavy. Everything about it just I, it was a tough setup for moving from show to show. So I came up with a different design. Um, I can use thinner acrylic. It's gonna weigh a quarter of the weight. And instead of the two by two design, I'm thinking of doing a 36 design. So I'm gonna change my lighting. So I don't know who has any reef brights or someone using something. I want some blue LEDs that just pop. Uh, I can't bring these things over here. They're just, they don't, they're not strong enough. When you're at a frag show, you're doing something like Reef of Palooza, Macna, it's just there's so many lights that are around you that are just blinding you. I mean, you got these things up here on the ceiling and you're trying to show off your corals and you know you wanna turn off the lights and you want everything to look good. So you can't do that. So what I'm thinking of doing is I'm definitely gonna make myself a little canopy over top of the booth just so I can, you know, shadow the, the fluorescent lighting and kinda of enhance the corals. So anyway, I want your guys' opinion on this design. So I'm gonna build this tank. I just wanted to finalize this one. Um, I hate pumps. I don't like pumps and tanks, and plugs are an issue, and it's really hard to um, get power sometimes at these shows. So I want something that moves itself. So I'm thinking of going with a baffle design that uses gravity to push the water through and go with chambers. Since I bring different corals anyway, I don't want them stinging, I don't want the chalices next to the euphelias or next to the acans or you know what I mean the zoanthids so I want to be able to separate stuff up so I'm actually going to build this tank with dividers in it so I can make it super thin super light and super strong because I'll have the strength of all those baffles so I'll probably use something like uh, eighth inch or 16 inch acrylic we'll see what I can get my hands on but 
But yeah, I want your guys' opinion on a light that I should use for this. Something with superpower blue. Um, as we were testing, you know, like I said, the other lights, even the Kessels, I I'm not happy with the Kessels as far as how much par they put out for a show. And it's a center light and the light spreads. That's another reason why I'm not doing a two by two tank. It's just, I I'm not happy with the way it looks. I'd rather go with a 36 inch tank and add something long, something that's gonna have more spread, better coverage for the even tank. So, and something also cheap. So I may even get some like Chinese LED boxes. We'll see what happens. I gotta throw something together. I don't really have too much time. But um, yeah, the shows come up quick. You always think you have forever and then all of a sudden, boom, you're packing up. You gotta make sure you have your salt water made and everything else and it's a whole, whole bunch of stuff. So we'll also be plumbing these this week, which I can't wait. When we order the acrylic and we're gonna cut it on the laser, we're gonna actually make our custom overflow boxes, which will be super cool. I can't wait to get those installed. Um, and then I decided to go with the black PVC. So, you know, it'll be hidden. Uh, it would be cool to go with the different color PVC, but it's just, it'll be too distracting, especially if I do videos all the time. I don't want the bright orange PVC um, in the background, I guess. I don't know. So, those are my Monday updates, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, check the website for some more frags that I added. There's some really good price stuff there. I'm going to try to move as much as I can over the next few weeks. We'll see what happens. Um, if you like the smaller, cheaper price frags, like definitely let me know in the comments section. And also about the lights and stuff. Please let me know what you think. Um, and if these tanks are a hit, I'll, I'll definitely start making these for sale. But yeah, I just think it'll be cool. It'll be all frags. It'll be all black acrylic. It's going to look really, really good. Um, as opposed to the other ones that I just didn't have any water flow. So uh, it'll be a new design. It's a little risky for me to test it out on the show. Because I won't have time to do the prototypes and test it the way I want. But um, you know what? Sometimes it's just how it is. So there you guys go. Uh, Wait for the next one, all right? As always, thanks for watching. Happy reefing. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. And thank you for being part of the Coralus community.